Naukri is a world-renowned author and poet and boasts a Booker Prize and an Order of the British Empire amongst his many accolades. Even he couldn't hide the honor he felt in following in the footsteps of former President Nelson Mandela and Archbishop Desmond Tutu by delivering the Steve Biko Memorial Lecture. Like the phoenix of classical mythology, his end was his beginning. The power and truth of his ideas spread with a special brilliance because of the flame of his death. He said Biko's movement of realizing black consciousness was more than mere politics. It was a call for Africa and Africans to realize their true greatness. Black consciousness says that in liberating your mind, in freeing your consciousness, you should be your own leader. Everyone therefore carries the burden of leadership. Okri also took aim at Africa's leaders, especially those that were more interested in self-enrichment rather than the plight of Africa's people. You do not need me to tell you that if Biko were alive today, his cry to Africa would be to put his house in order. He would be appalled at the civil wars, the failure to feed and educate the people, the greed of government officials, and the general failure to live up to the promise of the great struggles for liberation. Lukanyu Khalada, SABC News.